uh, as part of being a pastor is to spiritually edify and instruct the parish members. And I've come up with a book called Prayer Primer by Thomas Dubay that I want to present some aspects of regarding a spiritual growth and how to pray or about prayer. So this is something I really enjoy doing. So hopefully I'll put together these three to five minute presentations following the chapters of this particular book on prayer primer. On page one, the author, Father Dubé, in teaching about prayer, he mentioned the word voracious. And that caught my eye. You don't see that word often regarding a human prayer, just talk about being voracious. Voracious means being greedy, being eager. And it's often related to the animal appetite, but it does fit the human appetites or desires, being greedy or eager, that inner ache or an inner desire. He uses the word voracious to get to that message that with prayer, we have to see that there is an inner ache or an inner desire that animals don't have. This inner aching like a human does in our, what we would call our spiritual core. So nothing created can satisfy an inner ache. Only God can. So that's the opening of this message about prayer. Where to start is that we all are desire and we, we don't know what we're looking for. It's we're looking for God. Only God can fulfill that. So he talks about human pleasures. We seek to fill that inner ache or that emptiness with created things, not God. That's just our natural reaction. In our human condition, we substitute lesser things to fill the inner emptiness. So lesser, lesser things, especially on a very you know, voracious level, would be narcotics that dull or deepen that pain that we have, or that emptiness. So, so things that deaden the pain are not having the spiritual core filled or God. So a relationship and a communion with the divine. That's where we're going to start to talk about things regarding prayer. Learning to pray and then deepening our prayer. It's rooted in this inner hunger, a desire for God, the inner ache that drives our desires. So prayer is a necessity. It's also a privilege and a duty of human persons. So next time I'll address what is prayer and why does one pray? But voracious used today, a phrase by Father Dubé, just draw me to start out this talk of this inter interpersonal intimacy that we'll find to fill that gap with God.